today we're going to have a look at the Dell Inspiron 7577, so 7000 series gaming laptop, 15 inch gaming laptop. So now some people have been complaining they're not getting my notifications, so make sure you click on subscribe down there and make sure you press that bell notification right next to the subscribe. Also I want to give some love to some smaller YouTube channels and one in particular, Laptop Retrospective. I will leave links in the description to his channel. Check it out. I like his content. I subscribe. Let's try and get him up to a thousand subs and to just save you some time if you just want to know you know probably under two grand in Australia it's about 1500 it starts in Australia 999 in the US it starts at around that price point if you want to know the best gaming laptop this is it it is a no compromise gaming laptop I'll get on to why later and this gaming laptop here may just be the cure for the current mining crisis where graphics cards are just way too expensive to actually build your own system. In actual fact, I did spec up a desktop with a monitor with the same sort of specs as this laptop has and it's hundreds of dollars more expensive. So this is actually cheaper now than building a gaming desktop. Now this is for the hardcore. Okay, so it's not super thin, super light, 2.65 kilos, 24.9 millimeters thick in terms of actually hardcore gaming laptops it's actually not that big and heavy for a 15 inch laptop but there are other super thin gaming laptops these days they're not what i call proper gaming laptops they're not what i call hardcore gaming laptops they're usually compromised in the cooling or they're loud or they're hot or they're all three and they're usually very expensive as well they also tend to not get the most out of their components meaning you will not get the maximum performance of the components inside this one does because the cooling on this is phenomenal I mean, I really tried to overwhelm the cooling on this. I tried to peg the GPU with mining. I, I pegged the CPU with Ada64 and it still would not overwhelm the heating in this. When I gamed around 80 degrees, CPU was the max and the GPU was around the 70 degrees mark. Now the specs of this is the Intel i7 7700HQ, 7th generation quad core 45 watt part, a GTX 1060 Max-Q. Now even though this is a Max-Q, this is tuned very well. Now the Max-Q GTX 1060s are clocked a little bit slower than the full GTX 1060s but this is as close as you're going to get because this can burst over 1600 megahertz and they'll definitely get the maximum performance out of this Max-Q GTX 1060. It's so close, other than seeing it in the benchmark, I doubt you would ever notice the difference. Now if we just look at the unit itself, good build quality, they haven't gone too far with the gamer aesthetic. Just a bit of red accent everywhere. Solid build, it's plastic. Open her up, the hinge feels solid. It is a sort of weird hinge assembly there. The hinge is in the middle of the display itself. The keyboard is really good, no complaints there. It's very solid, nice amount of feedback. It does have red backlighting and red lettering on the keys, which I don't mind. Trackpad is solid too. Nice and smooth, nice click to it, works very well. So there's no complaints in that department. Now the bezels do look very big and some people may say it's big, but this is sort of normal with the full hardcore gaming laptops. And quite frankly, someone who wants maximum performance out of their gaming laptop, they don't care how thick it is, bezels, whatever. They just want maximum performance out of their parts. And this is what this does. It gets the maximum performance. Now it's easy to upgrade. It has a perfect configuration in there. Two and a half inch drive bay and M.2 SSD. So that is upgradable. The RAM is upgradable up to 32 gigabytes of RAM there. And it's easy to access one screw. Perfect, easy to service, easy to upgrade. This is what a gamer wants and being able to put your games library on the two and a half inch drive is fantastic. This also has all the ports you want. Killer IO here. We're talking headphone, microphone jack. We're talking three USB 3.1s, Thunderbolt 3. So that's by four Thunderbolt 3. So that is perfect. So you can add external graphics if you want. HDMI 2.0, Ethernet, which is fantastic for gamers and an SD card slot which is a bonus, I wasn't expecting that. So everything a gamer wants, this has. The display itself, 60 hertz IPS panel, compared to what they used to have. They used to have a TM panel on this model, I believe. A lot of people complained about that. You won't be complaining about this display. It is really good for gaming. The colors are nice. The viewing angles aren't the best I've seen, but they're more than acceptable. Nice, sharp, colorful image. The games look fantastic on it. There's no real significant ghosting problem or backlight problem. And I'll show you later, I do hook it up 
to a high refresh rate monitor. And when I game with this laptop connected to my high refresh gaming monitor, just as much fun out of this as I do with my desktop. And because it doesn't get very hot, the noise isn't actually that bad. I mean, no gaming laptop is silent, but this is one of the better ones in terms of sound. I have definitely heard ones a lot worse than this. And as I said before, I could not overwhelm the heating in this system here. So well done Dell on the cooling of this laptop. So when it comes to gaming, you're gonna be playing any game 1080p ultra settings in excess of 60 frames per second and some of the games it's well in excess of 60 frames per second and that's at ultra i was playing pubg on an external monitor getting up to over 90 frames per second it was super smooth felt super connected it was brilliant to play pubg with this laptop even playing it with the built-in 60 hertz monitor is fantastic too now if you want a higher refresh gaming monitor yeah go up to the alienwares or you know the tricks gaming laptops or something like that but um at this price point you won't beat this laptop for gaming i'd like to thank you guys for watching if you're new around here why not subscribe and until next time guys tally ho all right so the point of this laptop is to game and this games very well now this is connected to an external monitor high refresh monitor absolute joy to play with this laptop and a high refresh monitor um just keep an eye in the top left hand corner you'll see all the telemetry yeah, there enjoy the, the gameplay <laughs> okay it's unfrozen oh man i'm so far away from you oh, that's all right yeah uh china's gonna have to protect you Rendezvous sometime, mate. Sometime. I'm gonna hold that one for myself. I shot one, Craig, but he ran away. So it's one here somewhere. Oh, I shot him in the... I'm um, in the mansion. Yeah, I'm in... Yeah, I'm inside the mansion. I shot him in the mansion, but he ran out. I don't know where the f*** he is. I can't see him. Oh my god. Who's that? Craig. That's Craig. You shot him? Alright, somebody's coming in, Craig. Somebody's coming in. And one went in the mansion. Where are you? Yep. Yeah. 
Damn it, the one time my computer failed.